What's up everybody? H2 is here. Thank you for coming to my channel. Now guys, I have another channel. It is for my shorts. We post short clips. Some of the best clips from each video that I've ever uploaded will go on this channel. So, I'm going to leave a link in the top of the description. I want you guys to subscribe. If you are here right now and you have an account, please consider subscribing to my shorts channel. Takes no effort at all on your part. I thank you so much for helping the Delirious Army grow on different channels. Let's get that channel up to 100,000 subscribers. But right now I am playing, there are a lot of demos on Steam right now. And they go away, I believe, on the 22nd. So right now I'm going to play some of these demos. These are, these are games that are coming out probably later this year. Uh, so they're going to be very short. This game is called The are here and as you can see it's an alien game i can see the ufos the unidentified objects floating in space right there we're going to go ahead and just go into a new game and hopefully we don't get probed that's all that's <laughs> oh. Unexplained phenomena occurred at Greywood's farm. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night. For five nights, according to the owner of the farm, all the animals were crazy. The dogs became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself, in the field, saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Grey Woods Farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. Let's go ahead and jump right here. So I am Taylor Fox. That's my name, Taylor Fox. Loading. Oh, I've been driving for hours. Where the hell's this farm at? Ugh. Oh. Oh, is this, is this where the farm is? Talk to farmer, I, I gotta talk to uh, farmer Peter Sherman. He better be here, I hope he's here. Channel News Lyrics on the ones. We're here to talk to Peter Sherman about his alien story. To see what he had, uh, oh, no way, what is that? This is great material for a news report. This is fantastic material. For a news report. Strange lights in the sky, but what are they? Are they UFOs? Are they alien? Or could they just be satellites floating in the space? Let's go talk to Sherman. Oh. Hopefully this guy is home. Sherman! Hello? Oh, oh, Sherman! Hello, hello. Listen, I'm a, I am a lowly no, uh, news reporter. I work at Channel Channel Five Lyrics on the news on on the ones. I'm here to talk about your alien story. As I walk towards the house, there appeared to be a letter on the wall. I stepped up right up to it to read it. It said, "Farmer's note, Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing." My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful. Peter Sherman. It seems like a crazy letter. A scary letter indeed. Is the Sherman fa family safe? Should I walk in their house and see if they're home? Peter Sherman? Channel 5 Lyrius on the ones is here. Their phone was off the hook. Not working. Okay. Begin to get a strange sens sensation. I'm, a, I'm not alone in this house. There's a newspaper of the place that I actually work at. Right on the table. Milk. 
old newspaper. This old newspaper was information about UFOs and crop circles. This phenomena have been seen throughout the state for a long time. Mystery sky objects seen here. Down to earth approach to alien visitors. Extraterrestrial uh, hypothesis still unproved. Mystify inhabitants of Tiffin on recent mornings. They saw something strange. I began probing UFOs in 1966 just before the Michigan uh, something that helped bring to fame the late J. Allen Hinnick. I began to go upstairs because I heard a dog barking. Peter Sherman, are you here? I don't mean to intrude, but I saw the letter on the door. Hello? Oh, I seen what I thought was a teddy bear at first. Turns out to be a dusty old bunny. We don't like dusty old bunnies anymore. Oh. Um, Megan. Oh. Oh, is that how she got out? Uh, he did say she was gone, so it, it, it appears that the daughter just ran away from home. No alien abduction here. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed, and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Peter Sherman thinks that his daughter was abducted, but it looks like she just escaped. As I walked towards the bed, I found a, I found a drawing on the bed. Child's drawing. It looks like this drawing was made of by, by the missing daughter of the farmer. The leaf is painted on both sides. Ooh. Oh. So it looked like she was waving to the uh, to the creature. The dog is barking at the creature. Something appears to be on the other side. <gasps> the creature killed the dog. Oh, that's monstrous. That is that is terrible. Pig, duckling. Um. I don't know what that is. Another duckling or a chicken? I begin to get the strangest sensation across my body. And I'm currently being watched. Is it Peter that is watching me? I walked into the master bedroom. And it appears that Peter has alien porn all over his computer. Hell, Peter. <laughs> I've learned a lot about these things. They are called the Greys. These are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. A large head, disappropriate, uh, <laughs> disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless, black eyes, gray skin, long, thin lips, and sharp claws. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near home which move along a certain way. Then people start to have a nosebleed, have severe headaches and a buzz in their ears. And animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapses, periods when they don't remember anything. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places. For example, in the middle of the field or on a road a few kilometers away from home. Some of them have flashbacks of, ter flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. These aliens establish control over their minds and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the marks on their bodies, incisions to be exact, during pop uh, population, pop palpation. I can't read! It felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under their skin. Ooh. Oh. So they were probed. Anally. Oh, that is creepy. That is so creepy. The ambience of this place is so creepy. What do we got right here? God. Farmer Children's Diary. Farmer Children? Found my old diary. How could I forget that? Um sticker uh when i was also oh, this is peter's uh diary when he was 15 years old how could i forget that 
Diary text. Uh, today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from my, an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around very low above the ground. A huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright, and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if in delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared. To sleep. Oh my God. Oh my God. He, poor, poor Peter. He, he was probed as, uh, when he was 15 years old. He was probed by aliens. The hell? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hello? Whoa! There appear to be some bright lights in the sky. I have no idea what the hell's going Woo! Hello? Oh my god! Oh! All the lights went out. Luckily, I brought this flashlight. Oh. Found some printed photos. Photos from the internet. Perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar. It looks creepy. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, that is, that is nasty. Oh my god. Hello? What is that? Oh, it's a flower. Scared the absolute hell out of me. Hello? Peter? Peter, I was in the house. I was... Hello? I heard strange sounds on the, on the roof of the house. Something is walking on top of the house. Going downstairs right now to see if I can find Peter. And it appears someone has knocked over the chair. I don't think I'm alone in, in, in the house anymore. I do not think I am alone. Someone opened one of the doors that was downstairs because this door was not open before. Found another note in the bathroom. Farmer's note. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They tortured me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for th their occurrence. And recently, strange, unpleasant tingling sensations in the back of my head have, star have started as well. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple. Abduction! I only remember the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then behind the ear or a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me. Some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. What is this? A little jar with a strange device inside of the sink. In the note, Peter Sherman claims that he cut out an alien implant from behind his ear. This will be great material for the newspaper. It appears that Peter Sherman found a device in the, behind his ears and he is claiming that he was abducted by an alien. I must, I must investigate more. I must figure out what happened to Peter and his family. Because I am the only one here it appears. Found a TV with a with an old VHS tape. I'm going to watch it. A witness. It appears to be an old movie. Perhaps Peter is just having nightmares of old alien movies. 
Or perhaps Peter did something with the family and is blaming it all on aliens. Whatever happened here, this video is creepy as hell. Channel 5 Lyrius on the news. On the ones. Oh. Hello? Strange voice started to play on the on the TV. Very creepy. In a video of the universe. Holy fuck! Woo! I got scared to death. And I'm hearing strange noises outside. I must investigate more. What is that sound? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? 911? Come on, man. Hello? Hello? I swear I saw something standing by the door when I left the house. I have no idea what that what that was. Well, I think. Oh, that was a UFO. There appears to be an extra light in the sky. In fact, there appears to be two more extra lights in the sky. When I first came here, there was only three. Uh oh. Oh, okay. They appeared to be moving separately! Oh my god, one of the lights disappeared! Oh, and the Channel 5 Lear's uh, van is, is, is being messed with. This is very strange. Ah! Holy! I have seen an alien! I have seen an alien! They are real! They are real! Oh my god, I got shivers! Oh my god! They are real! Come on. Come on, start. Start. Start! I don't want to get probed! I don't want to get probed! Not for no newspaper! Oh! My! What? Got a five days on the news! I have came in direct contact with an alien mothership! There is an alien ship flying directly above me! I believe they are trying to communicate with me! <laughs> ah! Holy hell! <laughs> I'm dead! Shadow Pop Lyrius! Over and out! <laughs> that was a hell of a demo. I loved it! I loved that demo! In the full game, you will find the large territory of Gray's Wood Farm and a full story of an alien abduction. Add the game to your wish list so you don't miss a discounted release. Wow, that was great. And this was the first demo I played and there are hundreds more demos on Steam. Hopefully I can play some more. Please guys, look at the description. There's a link for my other channel. I want you guys to subscribe to that. Leave a like on this video, comment in this video. I will be reading through the comments. Thank you so much for sticking through with this. I can't believe we all got probed. We all we all did. You got probed with me. Everybody got probed. But hopefully we can prove the alien abduction and nobody thinks we're crazy. But until next time, peace out everybody. Goodbye. I'm so proud to be a part of this.